So, how I got into tech and my journey so far. Welcome to my YouTube channel, my name is Dillion and on my space here I share career tips, my career experiences and also my life experiences in general and I have a different channel where I talk about tech and code, you can go check it out, here is the link to the channel. So welcome to my channel and in this video today I want to share how I got into tech and also how my journey has been. And the reason why I'm sharing this is of course as a means of inspiration to other people because I believe w as developers or let me just say as IT people we have had so many struggles some of us have made mistakes and this is just me sharing my own struggles for anyone to pick from I've also been asked a lot like how did I learn tech how did I combine tech with school and that was while I was still in school and other things so I one thing with me I love having like one place of reference where whenever I'm asked questions I can just say hey I shared everything here so enough of that and <clears throat> how did I get into tech so as an introduction currently I am a developer advocate and I'm also a software engineer with major focus on the front-end side of things like front-end websites and even front-end mobile applications and I'm also a content creator I write articles and just as you're watching now I create videos so how did I get into tech I'm going to you know I'm going to try as much as possible not to make this story super boring so I'll be very like brief and summarize anyways I know I've said a lot already so how did I get into tech it was 2017 and I was in school, it was my first year, I think the second semester, and then this friend of mine just came to me, I don't know how the conversation started, but he introduced me to HTML, and I think before then, my imagination of websites were like only big companies like Google, Microsoft, like those were the companies that could actually create websites, like uh, a, a young person cannot create a website. I think I was not very exposed by then anyway, so I don't blame my, I don't blame my past self. So he introduced me to HTML. I found it so fascinating that I could actually create websites right from my laptop. So that was like my ginger. That was what motivated me. And you know, I went online. He showed me so many platforms where I could watch tutorials. I went online and I was just watching the videos and videos and videos. Like I had a ton of videos. So I watched a ton of videos on web development from um, HTML to CSS to front end. I even watched the back end. And funny enough, I even had videos on Python, on hacking, on different things. Like the whole idea of tech was just so fascinating to me and I wanted to learn it all. And um, one struggle or one mistake I know I made at the beginning of my career was tutorial hell. I believe most of us know what tutorial hell is, where you're just, you know, so um, dissolved in tutorials. And you don't practice you're just watching from one video from one video to another so i was watching a lot of videos all through 2017 and at the end of 2017 i started applying for freelance jobs i think a friend of mine was applying for a job on upwork i don't know if many of you know upwork but upwork is a place for freelancers and i started applying and if you know upwork upwork involves a lot of proposals like you see a job and then you have to write so many proposals just to get a job so I kept writing proposals, one and another, one and another, and I got to a point where I, um, I stopped because I was frustrated. I wasn't getting anything. And also, while I was in this tech journey watching tutorials, I deleted my games, I deleted movies, like it actually spoiled my social life because I was just so tech code, tech code, I want to learn this, I want to be a badass at this. So as at 2018, I, I saw a friend, a friend created this cartoon design of a, of a person and I was like, okay, I want to learn how to create cartoons too. And I asked him what tool to use and he said Photoshop. And I was like, Photoshop, why not? And then I went to download Photoshop and then I was watching tutorials on Photoshop, creating cartoons. I also made a few cartoons of my own. I mean, they're not so beautiful, but I was learning. So. Now I was mixing two tutorials, tech and Photoshop, graphics, tech, graphics. I was trying to balance these two. Of course, school was also there too, but I mean, it was there. <laughs> I was trying to balance these two and then before you know, I discovered I could actually make money from graphics design. So why not? 
I started charging people for cartoons and everybody wants to have a cartoon so I charged them like 500 naira some of them 1000 naira and from there I knew I could actually go into creating flyers designing flyers I designed flyers banners it got to a point I was like okay I'm going to design logos too so that you know logos has this kind of like more uh, you can charge more for logos than flyers maybe flyers 1000 logo 2000 so why not and while i was focused on graphics i noticed there was little money there it drew my focus from tech because i'm making money here this one is just so frustrating i'm not getting the big jobs already i'm not even getting the small job so all the best so i was focused on graphics design for a while i think that was all through 2018 i even had a brand name design studios but where is design studios today i don't know <laughs> But anyways, that was like all through 2018, I think even down to 2019. And I think as of 2019, I realized that I had so much deviated from tech. And actually, I was beginning to get frustrated with graphics design because I think I wasn't just patient, actually. So I was beginning to get tired of graphics design because I wasn't getting the big clients. The clients I was getting like 500, if you even charge them 2,000, they write an issue. They are like, ah, 2,000, what, what are you doing? What is in this flyer? And even graphics design made me have some like conflict with friends because, you know, I do a design for them. I'm expecting them to pay back. They don't pay back. And it's like, I'm begging you to pay me my money. So I was just getting tired of graphics design. I It wasn't just so beautiful again. And then I realized how much I had already deviated my focus from tech. So I think as of 2019, that was when I became more active on Twitter. If you don't know me on Twitter, my username is I am Dillion, and I mean I share a lot too from tech to my career and life stuff too. 2019 was the time I became serious on Twitter and then from the tweet I saw, from the videos I watched, I realized that tech wasn't something where you just get in and then you begin to make it easily. So my first mistake was tutorial hell and my second mistake was I wasn't patient. So I realized then that I wasn't patient and tech is something that takes a while. I understand there are some people who in few months they are already doing well for some people one year and they're already in the big companies uh, that's them but most of the time you there has to be this like consistent hustle so consistent hard work consistent learning and of course practicing because while I was involved in tutorial hell I wasn't practicing like I would watch a video on CSS I would see this property I would just assume I know it sometimes I'd actually go to my browser test that specific property and I feel like I know this already but one thing I made a mistake was I was supposed to practice so instead of just watching tutorials I was supposed to practice also build stuff along so yeah in 2019 I just realized I had to be patient before I could actually get all these big jobs and you know um, get a name for myself so right down the line in 2019 i became active on twitter i started following articles so i felt like instead of just watching videos let me also try articles and i was watching articles i was enjoying them and this is also a big shout out to bolaji so bolaji if you are watching it if you are watching this you are a very great guy so i was reading articles on bolaji's blog and at the point i just felt like i would love if people could also read from what i write i mean I'm always anticipating Bolaji's articles, so I would also love if people can learn from, from the things I know, from my knowledge. And as at mid-2019, I started my article. My first article was on Devto, and I think time after time, time passed, and then I needed my own blog where I started writing articles. And I have over 140 articles now, as at the time of this video. I think it's even more because I have some ghost articles that I didn't calculate. So that was when I started writing articles and I didn't even know I could make money from articles. So I was just watching videos, reading articles, building side projects, building my website, of course, and writing articles. And I think it was late 2019 when I got my first paying job. So on Devto, Devto has this jobs page where you can like you can see a lot of jobs. People post jobs from at that place from time to time. And I saw this job where they were looking for a writer. And my first impression was like, you're looking for a writer, so people could earn money from writing. And then I applied. And for the first time, I got this job, and they offered to pay me hundred dollars. And hundred dollars at the time was I think three hundred and twenty. 
twenty dollar, three hundred twenty naira to one dollar. So that was like thirty two k, and I was like, what? You're paying me thirty two k for an article? That was actually amazing. And then I started writing articles. You know, I started applying to other organizations too, just to keep writing. And I think as of twenty twenty, I started applying to jobs again, like front end jobs, front end jobs, front end jobs. And of course, rejections. Rejections were the order of the day, and you know I had to keep practicing. I was also writing articles, and one reason why rejections didn't really hit me as much as it would have was because I already had a source of income. In fact, as I then, my main reason for looking for jobs was because I wanted to learn from professionals. I don't just want to learn from myself or from YouTube. So I wanted a space where I could, you know, contribute and also learn. And that was my major drive. It wasn't money because I was already, you know, I could already take care of myself from what I was earning from from writing. So yeah, right down the line in 2020, and then I got my first job in September. I shared the whole interview process here. You can check this video, and that was at 2020. And um, 2020 was also the year that I graduated. And uh, before I go further, how did I balance all of this in school? And to be very sincere, in 100 level, I was just focused on school. And then, okay, I learned about tech. So I was balancing tech and school. It was very easier because I wasn't working anywhere. I wasn't writing any articles. So it was just, you know, I go to school morning till night and then I watch videos in the night. 200 level 2 was good. 300 level and then tech started becoming a little distraction and it was like my my priorities were changing i mean that was not supposed to happen but it was like i was beginning to prioritize my tech journey over academics and good thing i was good with books so i could you know easily cram stuff and i could easily learn stuff that was really to my advantage because if i couldn't do that i really would have done badly in school so that was 300 level and 400 level first semester okay we have to do the project and stuff and then okay i had to give tech a little space so i could finish my project and then corona came and when corona came i had more time for tech so during that lockdown i was focused on tech i was writing articles back to back and that was even when i got my first job so i came down second semester to round off after the lockdown and yes, tech really had a negative impact on my academics because like I said, my priorities changed unconsciously. I just discovered I was more focused on getting more articles. And of course, I had work or oh, actually I took a leave during that period. So work wasn't really the issue, but I was still trying to like get better at tech and write articles. So yes, and one advice I'll give at this point is um, in school, you have to just you have to make your priorities. If tech is your priority, I'm not stopping you. If, acad if academics is your priority, I'm not stopping you too. But yes, it was a struggle for me trying to balance both. But like I said, one advantage I had was I could easily cram stuff, study stuff, you know, just learn stuff just for the case of exam. And I write an exam and I didn't do so badly. So anyways, that was that. And that was in 2020 now. Down to 2021, I was working creating articles and on my birthday last year in march i said i was going to create a youtube channel and that's because i realized that just like me there are some people who enjoy articles more and there are some people who enjoy videos more so instead of just focusing on my time writing articles i felt like let me create this alternative way of sharing my knowledge which i believe people can like some certain people can grasp faster than articles and then i created my youtube channel and that is how it has been up to my switch to developer advocacy you can check this video here where i share the whole process of that and in summary 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 i don't know how long this video is now that's really my story and i really hope it wasn't so boring but what are the things to pick out from here firstly like i said tutorial hell i was watching videos back to back like i had videos on five hours six hours i had a hacking video of 15 hours and i never finished that video like and like I said, I deleted my movies, my games, because they were like distractions for me. I felt like, instead of playing this game, I'm supposed to be watching another tutorial. So yes, it affected my social life in that manner. But I, um, I, I was just watching tutorials, and one thing I failed to do was practice. So whatever step you are now, whatever your journey is right now, if you're just watching tutorials, it is not the best. Yes, you can pick one or two things from there, but 
you also have to practice you have to build stuff if you're watching a tutorial where they build facebook for example after that tutorial you can try to build facebook on your own that's how you learn with practice the second thing like i said was i lacked patience i wanted to start getting the jobs i wanted to start making money you know that kind of thing and i realized along the while that this thing is it doesn't just come like that and this brings me to the third thing that i failed in which was consistency because when i left tech in 2017 to focus on graphics coming back to tech in 2019 of course in 2018 there were still few times where i watched videos but coming back to it in 2019 it was just like i hadn't learned so much that's why when people ask me what's your professional experience i tell them i started tech seriously from 2019 even though i already had an idea from 2017 so consistency is another thing tech isn't something you leave and come back next week you leave again come back next week i mean you may still learn that way but you cannot compare the pace at which you grow in that manner compared to something you do regularly even if it is once a week or twice a week as long as it is regular so consistency building with practice and then once it comes down to academic academics you have to just figure your priorities so what do you prioritize more do you want to get a good degree or are you just doing school for school sake i mean that's left to you but like i said for me it negatively impacted me <laughs> you know um getting into school everything was like first class first class first class and then it came to 400 level and i was like ah this tech has really distracted me <laughs> but anyways i still did well i still did well it wasn't first class but i still did well <laughs> anyways that's that for school and then down the line so yes i've shared my experiences and i've also shared my advice um tech i tell people anybody can learn tech as long as you have the time for it and as long as you are doing the right things practicing and learning and yeah i mean let me know what you think in the comments do you uh do you find these lessons valuable or do you have questions like how did i cope with this or that i could reply in the comments or if it means making another video i can do that but yes that's that for my story and thanks for listening to this amazing maybe adventure of mine <laughs>